Live from the rooftop of the Herman London Real Estate Group in beautiful downtown Maplewood, it's the St. Louis Realtor Podcast with your host, Adam Cruz. Welcome, welcome everybody to the St. Louis Realtor Podcast. I'm your host, Adam Cruz, live today from my backyard here in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm super excited because we have a guest here, Matt Camp. He's a St. Louis I guess native, right? Yep. Something like yep. that. Born and raised, for sure. Yeah. We're. Uh, I'm excited to talk to you today, Matt, because you're, I guess, the rep for this uh, new exciting thing called Deal Machine. Yep. Which we'll get into all about what that is, but you know, it's real estate related. It's for real estate investors. I think realtors can probably use it too. It's mm-hmm. uh, an interesting way to find deals. And uh, Matt, welcome. Thanks for being here today. Yeah, thanks again for having me. I was just complimenting your background, so I'm, I'm a little jealous. I need to figure out my outside setup there. But, yeah, you can tell I'm in, like, a South St. Louis City uh, basement that's finished off a little bit. So, uh, yeah, I'm a, you know, definitely a St. Louis native. <laughs> it's funny, Matt, because as a realtor, I can look at your background, and I can tell that, that you have you a, a stack stone foundation. You have it's about yeah. a two feet or so thick. The, one of those windows probably used to be a uh, – um, cool shoot but it looks like somebody opened yep. them up at some point to be more like a lookout style so it's more of a living area down there yep um, nailed it yeah guessing you don't have a lot of moisture issues although you're not supposed to paint those kind of foundations really but you know hey it's all good <laughs> came like that but hey and, uh, <laughs> yeah the moisture is not too bad yeah yep exactly so thanks for being here today and although you are a very interesting guy and I have a lot of questions I want to ask you in general, um, I think it's your sort of affiliation with this, with this, is it an app called Deal Machine yep. that yep. we wanted to have you on today. So do you mind giving us kind of the general overview? Our listeners, by the way, are anyone from people kind of interested in real estate, people that are realtors, realtors, investors. I used to say Aunt Marzi would listen, but she's passed away now. Uh, we love her. But, uh, you know, any, anyone in the world can listen. So give us a little overview of the deal machine. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, uh, I think, um, you know, it's, it's cool to hear a lot of people uh, listening to this are, um, you know, uh, newbies or looking to get into real estate investing, or maybe they've done a deal or a couple, um, you know, earlier on in their, in their real estate experience or real estate investing experience. Yeah. Because um, I think we, we primarily, uh, especially at first, were really designed for that. Um, we do have enterprise plans now, so we work with companies who are like wholesaling and fixing and flipping at scale as well. But um, really, the the core of what we've created uh, is for that new investor. Um, really, uh, how it even started was we actually uh, the the CEO of the company, uh, David Lecco, who is a St. Louis native as well, uh, lives in Indianapolis now, but is here often. Um, he had he was kind of uh, in between uh, different ventures. Um, he had started a tech company, had exited that. Um, was figuring out his next thing, um, was getting into or wanting to get into residential real estate investing and started driving for dollars. So for those not familiar with that term, um, just meaning, hey, get, literally get in your car, drive down the street and try to find uh, properties that look they, like they might not be taken care of or they might be vacant or, you know, have an absentee owner or something like that. Um you know, David was starting to do that. He would find properties, write down the address, try to figure out how to get in touch with them, remember, try to remember to follow up with them. Like the whole process was just tough to pull off and really time consuming and just not easy. Um, so he created Deal Machine uh, back in 2017, I believe. Um, you know, version one was like, hey, how do we make driving for dollars a better process, a more efficient process? Um, so, you know, uh, he created a technology that now you can take a picture of a particular property, really, uh, you know, it's nationwide. So anywhere our data covers, you know, the U.S., um, take a picture of that property and you can instantly, you know, pulls in from a few databases, a few public databases uh, to really show you, hey, here's how you get in touch with this person, whether it be, um, you know, you can send them a direct mail piece. Um, if they're uh, an absentee owner, it'll actually send the postcard to where they where they actually live. Um, you know, uh, uh, you know, maybe it's a corporation. It'll show you who owns it, um, or you can you have the opportunity to also skip trace and, and call them on the spot. So, um, you know, you can either you know, cold call them or and or send them uh, postcards like that. 
So the platform started off as this driving for dollars platform for new real estate investors who didn't know how to get started and even find their first deal and even start talking to people. Um, it's something to take action on and get out there and use this technology to make that process much more efficient. And then it's grown into that. Plus, uh, we were we launched a free CRM in addition to that. Um, where the CRM helps you manage your particular pro uh, leads and properties. So you understand, you know, uh, uh, whenever you enter a property into the CRM, it'll say, hey, this is up for approval. If you approve it, you have the opportunity to, you know, start sending mail directly from there. Um, the, you know, the CRM will tell you how many pieces of mail you sent them, where it is in that process, kind of help you track that deal and with follow-up, make follow-up really easy. And then um, we also have uh, our, our third piece of software that's all on this deal machine platform now it's a mobile app and a, and a web app um is our list engine which that's a list pulling uh technology that you know we really preach and say hey you know combine your original list of driving for dollars leads with your um with uh, uh, a list that you can pull from a database where you can go in and literally draw around your neighborhood and say hey you know for this area i drew around show me every property that has been vacant and not sold for over 10 years. You know, you can, you can get very specific on the criteria and it'll return a list to say, Hey, here's 30 houses that fit that. Um, would you like to sync your mail, your marketing to them as well? So it's a CRM that combines kind of this list pulling and the uh, driving for dollars uh, leads together. Cool. Okay. It sounds like it does a lot, you know? Yeah. And, um, <laughs> I guess for people kind of watching or listening or whatever, like what I, what mm -hmm. I find is with investors or realtors, they have to sort of focus on one of what I consider to be three areas. Yep. One area is they can say, okay, I'm just going to spend a ton of money and I'm going to do lots of marketing and mailing postcards and, you know, billboards, TV ads, whatever it is. And I'm going to wait for people to call me. So I've got basically more money than time and I'm going to do that. And then the other kind of area that people concentrate is, is like, I don't have, I don't necessarily want to spend as much money, but I do have more time, but I'm not super aggressive. So I want to spend my time doing things like networking, going to local investor events or going to happy hours with my friends or whatever, and kind of finding deals that way. And so that's not a lot of money, not a lot of time, not a lot of um, like, I don't want to call it aggression, but like direct sales or whatever. And then the yeah. third category I think people are in is more like, okay, not a lot of money, a lot of time, and I'm aggressive and I'm ready to make phone calls and I'm ready to just kind of make things happen. And so it seems to me like Deal Machine kind of is in this, what I would call the third category, but sort of like an option for the first category, right? So. Someone can drive around, do driving for dollars, which like you said, means drive around and look for houses that have deferred maintenance and are maybe beat up or have gutters falling down or their lawn is longer than all the neighbors, whatever. Um, so that's like literally driving around and finding the best potential candidates to, to buy. But then instead of what they probably used to do, which is write down the address, go home and maybe try to remember to call them or try to look them up, whatever. It sounds like what you're saying is they can, while they're out, they can type that address into Deal Machine and they can either do what I'm considering to like, not that expensive, but more aggressive. They can just start calling them, them, them there or they can do like a hybrid route, which is click some sort of button in Deal Machine, which by the way, I've never been in Deal Machine. So I like the way it sounds, but I'm just talking about it here. If anyone's wondering, yeah. but they can You're click some well. sort of- Pretty intuitive, I think. <laughs> yeah, okay. So they can yeah. then click some sort of button in Deal Machine and it's like, I found what I think should be a house that someone should sell me and you guys start marketing to them for me. Is that yeah. right? So it's funny. I love the way that you bucketed those three different types of people. I think the initial investor getting their feet wet and like just starting to take action would probably fall many times into that networking bucket. Like they're just starting to educate themselves and to be honest, like uh, you, you need uh, to self-educate um, to, to um, understand how to analyze the deal and all of that. And, you know, whether it be listening to podcasts like this or reading publications or networking or all these things, like 
that's a great place to start. And that's a great place that if, if you're not doing that, uh, your likelihood of finding the old machine to be useful um, probably isn't, isn't great because it's a tool that, um, you know, that is going to help uh, enable everything else you're doing in real estate, right? Like um, it's a tool that's going to make you better at the process of investing in real estate, not just uh, be a passive, uh, you know, something you can outsource, right? So um, I think there's that bucket. And then you're right. I think the person who has maybe some more time and can be a little more you know, open to being more aggressive, they would love the driving for dollars piece of it of going out there and you actually, so what the app actually looks like is a map that is on your, essentially like a GPS on your phone. You're looking around and you can see as you pass each property, there's a little black dot for each property uh, that you can click on and say, hey, actually, you know, uh, what's the address of that? Okay, it matches up to here, click on that property take a picture so that way the point of that picture is that's going to show up on the postcard that you send oh. so um you know if you call them on the spot that's great too but um the postcard you send it'll actually have a picture to say hey is this your property so that way you get a way better response rate um people you know sometimes people if they don't live there they'll see that picture and be like oh wow that's what it looks like you know they'll, they'll actually be uh you know uh, it might give them a, a, a you know a wake-up call in that way too um, so being able to, to import that picture, um, you know, this is a way that you can, it matches it up on the map on there. And then you're one button away from starting to send mailers that comes from you. So the, we're just the technology, like the mailer itself, um, you can customize in the deal machine app, what the mailers are going to look like. So you can say like, Hey, send them a mailer. The first one being, um, a ballpoint pen written letter, which we actually have that option. It's a little more expensive, but we have that option. Well, and then, and then uh, if they don't answer that, 30 days later, send them a this mailer that says this, you know, particular text on it, and it has the picture of the house on it. And then 30 days later, if they don't respond to that, send them one more. And you can make this automated campaign, so that way you're not having to mess with the follow-up. It automatically is getting out there, and it's all through the app to kind of facilitate that. So I think you know that person would that has more time would fall into that bucket, and then the less time, more money uh, person, they could use our list pulling engine to be able to just say, hey, circle this entire neighborhood and any deal that falls under my very specific criteria, it could be two houses, it could be 200, you know, we're gonna send them mail or we're gonna send, you know, we're gonna call them or whatever it may be. Um, so I'm yeah. sure how you pick those three, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's really cool because I've done some like driving what I, you know, we call driving for dollars with some of our new agents or, you know, people who kind of, we have realtors who get into the business because they're interested in investing and, but they get their real estate license, you know? And so I like to mm -hmm. kind of go down the different paths with, paths with them of what they're kind of like hoping to do with their career. And, but when we've done, when we've done the driving for dollars, what I found is that without some sort of a software, which we didn't have anything then is we ended up coming up with maybe too many options. Right. And so mm -hmm. we're driving around for 20 minutes and it's like, okay, now we've got 20 addresses. Right. And then we get distracted. We find the one that looks really beat up and we're trying to look it up, you know, mm -hmm. but no one's really writing it all down. And if we are, where's that we list know. going? Right. We just, we're just like writing down some list and then it's going in a stack back at the office. So I wish we yeah. would have had a software, like you're saying, to kind of enter them into. And then, well, that, that, help us to narrow it down because you, you know, depending on where you're driving, you might see a lot of houses with gutters falling off or, you know, right. deferred maintenance and that kind of stuff. Yeah. There, there is actually a feature on deal machine as well. Um, I believe it's under the pro plan uh, and up, but there's a, a highlight property feature. So if you actually pull up the map while you're driving and you hit highlight properties, according to whatever criteria you put in there, it'll overlay the map and say, like, hey, uh, you know, these properties that were, that were popping up with a green box around them, um, as you drive past them, these fit your exact criteria that you wanted highlighted. Like this fits this amount of equity in the house or this amount, this, you know, size of house or this, you know, whatever the criteria may be. Um, so that way you can avoid that problem too of like, you know, trying to write down every, every address. Um, but yeah, I, I think the less, more time, less money people, Driving for dollars is an amazing uh, beginner strategy for them because uh, it'll help them get used to evaluating properties on the spot and then right. um, start talking to people. And then the actual ROI of it as well of that versus other marketing options um, has, uh, you know, we have plenty of case studies to show you like, Hey, you can get essentially double the results for your money if you're doing driving for dollars properly. So it's, 
Um, we're a big believer in the strategy. It's just a matter of uh, finding the time or, or hiring someone to drive for you. Oh, really hiring someone. Wow. Now we're talking about next level stuff, right? <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah. But I mean, I find it to be just, I find it all to be very interesting. You know, I think I mentioned this last time we talked, Matt, that I've been making a lot of calls lately and I guess you can call them warm calls, but one of the, you know, what I found is ultimately I get basically seven uh, different sort of objections. You know, every single person I call says one of seven different things, you know, and one of those things that they say to start is, how did you get my number or why are you calling me or something like that, you know? And I guess mm -hmm. gone are the days where it's, where I had to have some big reason. Now there's tons of softwares out there and things that are saying, hey, there's software out there saying that you most likely want to sell, right? And I don't know if Deal Machine calls it a sell score, right? But mm -hmm. there's softwares and things that are basically saying this guy at this property is 80% likely to sell or whatever. Mm -hmm. and very likely to sell right and so they yeah. it's not surprising that they're getting a call yeah and, and we're very we're big proponents of just being honest like that or saying you know hey i'm a i'm a local investor i was driving down the street like um like you said you can even be very specific about the, the software saying hey the software thought that you know uh that you know it would be good to get in touch with you like that kind of thing um, we don't have the actual uh, uh, score uh, like that in the in the app itself, but um, based on the criteria you put, that highlighting of the property um, is where we say like, hey, uh, rely off of that and rely off um, you know, you know your eyes of seeing the property itself and, and kind of combine all that rather than just you know picking a neighborhood and spamming it. Like not only because that's gonna uh, not be great for a local reputation, but also like the, the just not smart business like your, your the ROI you're going to see from that is, is nothing compared to you know getting more specific and finding the right houses and, and you know trying to get in touch with them interesting okay so how, how long has deal machine been in business uh so david i believe he started in 2017 david lecko oh, wow. um, the ceo so we've been around for about three years um okay mm -hmm. that's a long time actually in like the tech world right that's kind of a long time yeah i for guess sure. yeah I, I think it still feels like a startup to me. I mean, I don't know when you stop saying startup, but like, <laughs> uh, yeah. Unless you make your first billion, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Working on it. <laughs> okay. And so then what are, what like features of the software have you guys found that people are using more than other features? Is it still the driving for dollars or are people doing the kind of circle around a certain neighborhood or zip code? Yeah, um, so the, the driving for dollars piece is well on what we, we started with, and that was the first two years, really, like, that's the the market that we really went after, is, like, we want to be the best driving for dollars app out there, um, and that's that was our goal, is, like, just own that niche. Um, at, you know, over time, we realized, like, hey, people really need a platform to be able to have their data, um, you know, do more than, you know, once they drive for dollars, like, where does that data go? How are they using that? How are they managing it? Like the whole, the CRM element was a very natural extension of the driving for dollars piece because it's, it'll help you track and manage each of those leads that you have. Right. Um, so, so that's why we developed that out for, I think in July we launched that. And then the list engine piece was also a very complimentary piece where that was something that we were constantly hearing and hearing people say, hey, I would love to combine my driving for dollars list with a, another list that I you know pull from these broader databases I use and put it all in one place and make it so that I don't have to transfer data back and forth all the time, but we have you know one software to kind of manage all of those leads. Um, so that, that was where we saw the opportunity there of saying, okay, we can really help people out where, you know, like you said, it's either the lots of time, less money or more money, less time people and be a, a solution for both of them. So um, yeah, I think, uh, it kind of depends on the user. We definitely have more driving for dollars uh, uh, users of that specific piece of our software. Um, we call it Street Engine now is like that driving for dollars piece. Um, but you know, the, the more that we've gotten the list engine out there, um, the, the list pulling uh, piece of it, um, the more people are starting to use that in tandem with it. So um, yeah, that'd be a good question. Uh, check in with me in a few months and see how, how, you know, how the everything's divvying up there. Okay, so I kind of, I just want to make sure I'm fully understanding you. Through Deal Machine, you can sign up, you can drive for dollars, you can say, here's one, here's one, here's one, right? And it's sort of, mm -hmm. I guess it's kind of creating a database of the ones, the properties that I've specifically found yep. are 
options. Hey, I'd love to call this person and see if they want to sell. And yeah. then from that list, I can either do nothing, just use deal machine sort of as my CRM. And it has this big list of people I want to call, or I can use deal machine to start mailing those people. Right. Yeah. Or, and, or maybe included in the first part is deal machine will tell me the phone numbers or the potential phone numbers for these people. Yes. Yeah, so you can do a, a function called skip tracing. So you can do that uh, on the spot where that would pull from a database uh, uh, saying like, Hey, here are a couple of likely phone numbers for them. Um, uh -huh. You know, whether it be, be theirs or um, you know, potentially like a family member or something, you know, it'd be a, a way to potentially cold call, cold call. Yep. Okay. And then am I dialing through that system or am I kind of like cust or uh, manually entering the phone numbers? So you, you can hit, you can uh, dial on the spot if you'd like. Yeah. You can just uh, call that number from right from uh, the app. Okay. And all of that is sort of what the old machine originally was, but mm -hmm. then you called something called list engine, which is where I yep. can say, like call all of 63017 or call all of this little custom map that I made. And then it'll pull in the information from those. And then I can search that and say, okay, yeah, that's cool. That's 500 houses, but I only want to call the ones that have lived there for 15 years. Or, or I only yep. want to call the ones that have X amount of equity based on yep. assumptions on their sales price and their mortgage and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that, that database, um, that's something that, you know, there, there um, are other softwares that uh, have that, you know, that kind of uh, feature and function to it, but um, trying to combine that, you know, that with the driving for dollars and making this all in one software that you can kind of diversify your lead gen strategies where you have this, you know, general database that maybe is a little more competitive because anyone could go in and pull a list, right? Um, and then you also have this original list that may be smaller, but it's uh, less competitive because you physically drove around and, and created it yourself. So, um, yeah, it's a, you know, our, our platform, you can kind of uh, sync through both of those things and, 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 you know, pull that all into the CRM together. Cool. Well, you just kind of brought up something that reminds me of why, like, why would people drive for dollars when they just have access to these lists, right? It's like right. this perfect list of a non-owner occupant who has over 80% equity and who's owned the property for 10 years or whatever. Right. And the mm -hmm. deal is you can, you can mail that list through your system or, or others, but everyone else is too. Right. Yep. And so when I, when I call people, they're like, you're the 16th person that's called this week. Sometimes mm -hmm. you get that right. But mm -hmm. like through driving for dollars, you might be the only person who's called this week or this month or this year because they might not meet some of those like kind of obvious criteria of, non-owner occupant with this much equity and all that, all this other kind of stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. So that's, that's what, whenever we quote like any numbers around ROI for driving for dollars, it's for that exact reason of, you know, every mailer you send to your, your driving for dollars leads. Um, it's a, you know, it's a very qualified lead and it's somebody who uh, has much more likely that they're not being called or mailed to already like that. Um, whereas these other lists that you can pull from, you'll have to probably blanket a, a bigger area um, to really, uh, see the t same type of results. It'll be more costly to do, to do that. Interesting. I love it. Okay. Are you personally doing any sort of real estate investing, if I may ask, or is that too much uh, information? No, you can ask. Yeah, it's funny. Um, I actually, one thing that got me excited about uh, joining Deal Machine was uh, I've actually spent, I, I'm pretty much our kind of typical, uh, 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 you know, textbook case of, of who would be a really great user for Deal Machine. So I've spent the last couple of years, I've had multiple friends getting into real estate. I knew David and, and David, the guys who started this deal machine app. Um, I had plenty of, you know, a handful of other friends who were- The also guy who we met through, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, uh, also through him. Yeah, so multiple people I knew were in that world already. Um, and then uh, outside of that, um, you know, I, I was seeing them, them uh, you know, their success in that. And had always said like, yeah, I'd love to get into real estate someday. Like that would be a great thing to do someday. And was spending a lot of time listening to bigger pockets and reading, you know, different newsletters and like just trying to educate myself. I went to a couple networking events, like, um, you know, definitely uh, would fall into that, that bucket. And then now that I've joined Deal Machine, it's like, hey, you know, I should be using, I should use the app if I'm going to be talking to people about it. So yeah. it's something that I'm like just getting into now myself where I get to go through that journey and I get to tell people like, here's the types of the types of pro tips that I'm seeing that that's working for me. And, you know, being able to kind of 
uh, practice what I preach there. So um, I would say new, newly taking action, but um, have been kind of a passive uh, consumer of real estate information for, for quite a while. So um, exactly cool. who we're trying to get to, you know, head to head to, to get the app in front of. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I love it. And, you know, if you don't mind me saying, there are mm-hmm. most likely people listening who are in the stage of what I call analysis paralysis, right? Yep. Where they're still figuring out what they're going to do and what app they need and who they're going to call and what neighborhood and all this kind of stuff. And I hope that they will just start taking action. I hope they'll sign up for deal machine potentially, you know, I mean, I, I'm not like a paid spokesman or whatever, but I, they need something, they need a tool like that. You know, like I said, I've driven around and done the calls without a, an app and it pretty much went nowhere. Um, but I hope they'll call someone like you for their app. I hope they'll call someone like me to help them figure out the logistics of their purchase and what they can sell it for and all that kind of stuff, you know, because there's a lot that goes into a deal and you, you know, everyone needs a little bit of help and that's where we, that's where we can all sort of add value to the transaction. I think, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah. And that, that's something like even just uh, taking any action at all is start is going to, uh, give you a greater, much greater chance of starting to build momentum. Like that's something where the more that I have been using the app, the more I get excited about it, the more I like build those muscles of getting used to, to driving and to identifying a house and to trying to get in touch with someone and like the whole process of it. Um, so even just, just, you know, taking action and, and starting to get out there um, will build your confidence and help you uh, start to move along that process, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, just do it, man. You know, like just do <laughs> yeah, it, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> just do something. Like just sign up for some app or some CRM or something, right? Just start going on some appointments. You don't have to have every single detail lined up before you can go on that first appointment and talk to that first seller. You know, find a seller who's willing to sell, and and then call one of us or call you or call me or whatever, and like somebody out there can, you can make it happen. Completely agree. So, yeah. All right. Well, Matt, I don't know if you want to talk about anything else in particular, but I think you kind of answered all the questions I had in general. You know, I like talking to you because I think that you're, uh, you're out there doing something that's good for the real estate investment community. You're making our jobs easier. Um, and so I appreciate that. And anything else you want to say or how can people get a hold of you? Yeah. Or, like, yeah, I was going to say, people, um, if they have any questions around driving for dollars or anything app specific or you know anything like that, um, just matt, M-A-T-T, at dealmachine.com is my email. So feel free to reach out that way. Um, 314-239-8050 is the phone number. So um, feel free to you know, either email or call. I'm happy to, to, to help people out that way. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, my, my role is really, uh, uh, you know, focused on um, educating people about Deal Machine. I really um, in char- am, am in charge of our partnerships as well. So if there's anyone in the audience who's like, yeah, actually, I think I know a bunch of people that could use Deal Machine. Like, um, you know, I work with our referral partners to get them set up as an affiliate with us. So, um, you know, feel free to reach out, whether it be, you know, any questions around the app or questions around how we can team up that way, too. I love it. I love it. And are you finding as, as what you're calling an app startup, even though, you know, like you said, you've been in business for a few years, are you finding that most of your activity is happening around St. Louis or is it, and that's because you guys are from here or because it's a great place to invest or are you guys finding that you're doing business sort of nationwide already? Yeah, it's, it's really all over the place. Um, I think we have a good, uh, you know, a strong uh, presence here for that reason of just, uh, you know, having built relationships here and uh, being all four of our leadership team. We're all from here. Um, two of them still live here. So it's like, uh, you know, we have a, a strong ties to St. Louis and I plan on staying here. So it's going to, you know, I, I think uh, there's, there's that behind it. Um, I know like our, our top concentration of users, I think is in Texas. Um, I Interesting. Think we have a, um, I think we're pretty strong in Florida, I believe too. Um, but really, it's it's nationwide. Like our databases cover the entire U.S., so it, um, you know, you can use it from anywhere uh, in the U.S. So uh, there isn't any restrictions or anything. But um, I I definitely think St. Louis is going to be you know a priority for us, just uh, you know, for for personal reasons. I love it. That's great. Cool. Well, thank you for taking the time to be on my podcast here. And yeah. um, you know, I look forward to continuing conversation with it with you and I hope that people reach out to you about deal machine and we'll talk to you later, Matt.
yeah, thanks again for having me on. I really, uh, really enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, uh, great questions. So, yeah, for sure. You guys have a good thing going on and you're helping the community. So that's great. Awesome. Thanks, thanks for your time and take care, sir. Yeah, you too.